Hi, this is Janos Reverd Audio, and now I'm going to solve a mystery. <laughs> is that, uh, as Hugo pointed out, uh, my pure darling uh, recommendation that I recommended to build, it is not a choke input supply, which is of, which has the potential to give the most natural, most non-mechanical sound, but it's a capacitor input supply. Why is that? Why didn't I, I share a design that is choke input? It would have been very easy. Just uh, change out the transformer to one that supplies more voltage and, uh, and then there we go. But actually that's just the common knowledge. In, in reality, in real life, that's not how it works. In real life, you cannot just simulate and model uh, a, a choke input supply. You have to build it, and, uh, and after you build it, that's when you find out what sort of voltage it's going to get you. Because uh, a pure choke input supply is completely dependent on the current draw. So if the current draw changes, it supplies very different uh, voltages to the, uh, to the tubes that, that are being fed by it. So that's why uh, I, uh, this does not work for a recommendation that I can give for a pure darling, because when you are building this uh, at home, uh, most of you will not use those very same parts that I recommended, that you will use other parts that have chokes with different DCRs, uh, uh, your line voltage might fluctuate a little bit, your, you might use a different input, a different power transformer, and all of these little things, little differences that you choose, they will result in a monstrous fluctuation in the B plus voltage for the tubes. And, and, it's, uh, and the, the voltage that, that we are feeding is around 260-265 volts DC or somewhere between 250-265, anything goes. But if I would have suggested a choke input and you build it with, with those resources available to you, it would have swing anywhere between 150 volts to 400 volts. And, uh, and most of you some of, would end up with something that doesn't have enough voltage, an amplifier that has a minimal power, not even a quarter watt power, and, and the other half of you would end up blowing up your amplifiers because uh, the tubes and the parts are not designed to handle that voltage. Also, because this is a, a project for relative beginners, choking input supplies are not for beginners. Those are expert level builds, and you are going to get that a long, long time, many years from now, when you are very comfortable building <laughs> uh, capacitor input supplies. When you have build, build them, master them, then you can upgrade to choke input. And uh, not yet. And also, this is a direct coupled circuit. And uh, with direct coupled circuits, you have to be meticulous about uh, circuit stability. Oh, sorry guys, uh, I, I really am mixing two completely different things here. I'm already in my mind at the next stage because my next recommendation after the Baby Darling and Pure Darling projects will be the Double DC Darling that I started to call as the Electric Darling <laughs> back then when I introduced these two build ideas. And, uh, and then its proper name is Double DC Darling, Double di Direct Couple Darling, but it's quite a handful to say it, and I just call it Electric Darling as a warning to everyone that there's much higher voltages involved, 400 volts. That's why it's electric, so to give you a, something to associate that, oh, there's, there's, there's a higher electricity there, it's more dangerous, and I need more attention and more experience to build it. But uh, with the Baby Darling and Pure Darling, I want you guys to, to, uh, in, uh, to get into a rhythm, to get into an experience level where you are able to build wonderfully stable circuits. And choke input circuits are not that. If you have a tube failure, then pff, your, your voltage will, will skyrocket. And uh, so, for example, if one of your tube uh, dies in your Darling amplifier and, and the, the input supply would, would have been choke input, maybe the voltage could swing up like 100 volts plus on, on, on the B plus. And then 
that, that could be fatal to, to, to your tubes. Tube complement there and, and pro probably the rest of the equipment is not able to handle that over voltage. So that's not a good idea. And, and uh, you would say one way to combat that is add extra load on the supply to provide a constant load so in case there's a, a, a failure like this then the voltage does not go up to the skies. Yeah, that does work to a certain degree but uh, then we are with that problem that you need extra current to supply that load that, that keeps, uh, keeps a stable voltage and, uh, and now we are already at the point where I am scrambling to give you as much current as possible from the power transformer. And, 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 and what I have recommended to build with those uh, power supply, I mean power transformer, B plus transformer suggestion is the absolute bare minimum. And if you want to increase the current draw, you have to seriously beef up your input transformer. And, uh, and, uh, and anyway, that, that's a good idea. You might want to do that anyway in the future. Uh, maybe like get like uh, two transformers, build double mono power supplies. And then the emphasis here is not in double mono, but on the fact that you just need to double up the, the capacity to supply current for the tubes and that will give like a, a major boost in the speed of the sound. So, so that's one thing. But the other thing is that uh, the Pure Darling build is actually a, a, a variation on the choke input supply. So it's not a pure capacitor input supply. When you look at it, you see that the first capacitor in the, in the pi filters, uh, that is a tuning capacitor. What does that mean? It means that basically your supply, this Darling M supply, works as a choke input supply. Uh, what does that mean? It means that the behavior of how the rectifier tube and the power transformer sees the supply is defined by the choke, not by the capacitor, because the big capacitor is after the choke. So practically what the rectifier is seeing is the choke. And, and before there is a tuning capacitor and that means that the capacitor is there to tune the voltage. So we, I am using the capacitor to tune the voltage supplied by the power supply. So that is used to fix, to set the voltage. So even if you pull out a tube or one tube fails, the B plus will remain at the near same constant level. And more important than that, second reason for the tuning capacitor, that it vastly cuts down the hum level, the noise floor of the amplifier, and the, the uh, and how can you tell when a capacitor is a tuning capacitor or is it a capacitor input supply? What's the difference between the two? I will explain it in the next video and I'm even going to use some pencil and paper hopefully for that. So I hope this helped a little bit. So basically long story short, the Pure Darling is actually a choke input supply because the first capacitor there that's not a full value capacitor that would make the supply behave as a capacitor input supply. It still behaves mostly as a choke input supply and the capacitor that baby kept there is just there to adjust the voltage. And, uh, and that's it for now. I'm going to go much more deeply into uh, what that first capacitor does in a power supply when we have a capacitor there and, and that's why we cannot just say that oh if there's a capacitor at the first position it's always junk and, and if we have a choke input supply that's always better. No, each of them have their, their pros and cons and uh, and, and it is just, just so many parameters there that uh, to make it work you have to look at 
what the power supply needs to do, what sort of hum level it's ne you need from it, what sort of voltage stability you need from it, and, and what sort of, uh, of speed of current delivery you need from it. So, thank you Hugo, thank you everyone for watching, uh, have an awesome day, bye bye.